We all have different causes and uh, we get to see different designs, but I think the most important part is we get to understand each other's why and uh, what really matters to us. I think we should get started and uh, let's explain, you know, our cause to our cleats. Shoot, man, I'll kick it off. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, let's kick it off. Come on, let's talk to you. Um, let's, let's hear it. So, uh, my foundation is called the Big Yard Foundation, which uh, I started in 2018. Um, we support physical wellness, literacy, and creativity. Uh, and the reason why I started the Big Yard Foundation was just as I, you know, as I grew up and I, I left home, you know, went to college, uh, you know, got to the league, I started to really understand how blessed and fortunate that I was um, growing up. You know, all the opportunities that I had were were made so because I had, you know, a support system behind me. You know, I had my parents, I had coaches, you know, teachers, uh, like other community members that just really supported me and helped me succeed and reach my goals. So with the Big Yard Foundation, I just wanted to, you know, be that support system and inspiration and uh, source of motivation that I had and try to give that to some kids who, you know, maybe are coming from more, uh, maybe underprivileged circumstances and might not have that. How long, how long y'all been around? Since 2018. So in like three years, we started, our first fundraiser was a dodgeball tournament. So that's what like kicked off our yeah, uh, foundation. And we still do that every year. Um, this past year was our, our third annual, we weren't able to do it during uh, during COVID, yeah. so. I'll go, I'll go next and you kick it off, that was good. Uh, my cause, uh, well, I, don't, I didn't start my own foundation, like Brendan over here, but um, the my cause of my cleats is called Be The Match. It's a nonprofit where they specifically focus on finding uh, donors, bone marrow donors for like kids with like blood cancers, um, and just different type of cancers and rare blood diseases. And I think for me, it just hit home because uh, my younger sister actually grew up with a, a kind of a rare blood disease. So uh, just, you know, seeing her go to the hospital and like seeing like, you know, all the kids in the hospital living with that type of, you know, that's just like a tough thing to be handed in life. So basically what the registry does, what Be The Match does is, you know, uh, they recruit people from all over the world to see if they can donate uh, their bone marrow because it's like the, it's like the best way to really get over the healing process, um, to deal with it. Uh, but what a lot of people don't know is that, um, you know, it's, it's a super easy procedure. I did it myself for my younger sister uh, back in 20, 2019. So I did it myself and I was still able to play football and, you know, go into the draft and all that stuff. So I think a big thing for me is just spreading awareness about it, making sure that, you know, People are aware of, you know, these kids that have to deal with this on a day-to-day -day basis, and uh, just get the word out there. Where do they take? Where do they take the bone marrow from? Uh, like they, they take the it. They take it from your 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 hip. Um, and it's it's not bone marrow; it's plasma. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's plasma, so it's really just blood. Um, it's not a big procedure. You don't even have to go to sleep to do it. It's like going to the dentist and. Really? Taking teeth out, yeah. Man, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's real easy, but you would think it's it's very difficult, but it's really, it's really not that difficult. So what did you learn most about your sister since she went through this process? Like, what yeah. do you say the biggest lesson you learned from her? She, she's, she's just a, she just showed me what real grit is. Like just going through adversity her whole life since she's been born, pretty much. So I just seen her deal with that and just, kind of taught me that, you know, not only is she super tough and strong, but like, you know, your mind is capable of a lot, you know, just seeing her go through what she goes through it, you know, just helps me reflect and be like, you know, appreciative for what I do have and what I don't have, you know? My cause is uh, it's called Expand the Land. Um, so I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Our nickname is The Land. I'm sure LeBron made it famous. Um, 
But the reason I started is because uh, growing up, my parent, well, my father, he had his own nonprofit. So growing up, that's all I knew was just to give back and give your time. And uh, I was blessed pretty much my whole life. I went to private schools. I had all the toys. I, I was blessed. Just, I was definitely blessed. And uh, just growing up, I was uh, introducing to like the inner city. I might not live there, but a lot of my friends are from the inner city. Uh, a lot of my friends were in different situations, uh, but also a lot of like the people around me were just speaking, just truthfully. They were a lot better than me in a lot of different areas. If it was the classroom, if it was the football field, whatever it was, they were a lot better. Uh, but what I realized is I got to this level not because of uh, my talent or uh, you know what I was blessed with. It was the people around me that truly helped me get to this level. Uh, so for me, it was my foundation. I wanted to be just a support system for pretty much any kid in the inner city. Uh, just that's the main focus. Um, so if you want to be an artist, you know, I wanted to get you the resources for you to, uh, you know, further go into that field. If you wanted to be a lawyer, I give you the resources to further go into that field. Um, so for me, I wanted my uh, foundation to essentially be that. Um, truly just expand the resources I was blessed to have. And uh, me being in the NFL, the different people I meet, just expand that to uh, you know a lot of different avenues. So uh, it was always close to my heart. I started it essentially as soon as I got into the league. That was like the first thing I did. Um, ran into a few different challenges. COVID was the main one. Um, I was supposed to have my camp that year, uh, but we made it work. We ended up doing like a backpack giveaway uh, we work with Microsoft, you know, for kids to go in and essentially just work on computers and see how computers work. Uh, it was also cool just to, you know, kids always see like I'm on TV and I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And uh, so I had an opportunity just to play Madden with kids. It, it was just like the coolest thing. As I'm playing with them, I, I quickly realized it's like they were more fascinated that they were playing with the guy on the game right now. <laughs> it was so cool. So, uh, you know, my foundation, it, it truly just, uh, it's one of those things that, you know, football is cool and, uh, you know, going to different places is cool, but seeing the kids smile and seeing the kid achieve their goals and their dreams, it's nothing like it. So uh, that's essentially why I started expanding with it. That's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so I guess uh, last but not least, right? Um, we just opened our foundation recently within the last month or two. Um, we had a little little uh, young man come out and uh, about 12 years old who uh, went in for surgery, ended up being coming out being a quadriplegic. Um, and we were able to take him out on a hunt and just see the, the emotions and the, the happiness and joy it brought to his life. Um, kind is what spun our idea for our foundation. Um, so what we're doing is Want to be able to help kids who usually can't get outdoors um, be able to go outdoors and just enjoy the outdoors um, if they want to do something like that we'd love to be able to help them um, with harvesting an animal or just teaching them outdoors and just because i know for me i grew up in a small town we had a little bit of land and my favorite memories growing up are being out there me and my friends you know i mean our like just hanging out and just just enjoying it so uh what we're looking to do is get kids from the city or anywhere that just don't really have the opportunity to get outdoors and take Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, Cub Scouts, whatever it is, any group of kids out to um, some land out in Central Florida and just uh, see what it's like to really be outdoors, do bonfires, s'mores, anything like that, or just teach them um, enrichment, cultural enrichment about the land, about how how we came to get this land or the history of Florida and stuff like that. It just I feel like it impacts you differently when you're literally there or stuff has happened. So uh, that's kind of the basis of our foundation and uh, what we're looking to do and help out. Yeah, I think it's, it's dope how you like, yeah. you know, teaching kids how to hunt. I don't know how to hunt, Yeah, you yeah. know? Like, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so we'll lead you to that. Yeah, well, so we have a um, hunting outfitters out there and uh, we've done that. And then we had some uh, kid named Waylon. That's the guy I was talking about, Call. And uh, working with him and his family, um, hearing their story and just being able to just provide that for them. It really kind of sparked that. And then us having that really allows us the opportunity to 
for the setup and we're, we have an inn in the community already. Like a lot of football guys have inns for football camps or where to set stuff up. We have an inn and hey, we know where we can do for this or this or this or how to make those opportunities available for those kids. Um, so that's something big we want to do. And uh, we'd love to have you guys out there. Come out and we'll have some kids out, and maybe have some of you guys out there, and we all do it together. Yeah, Central Florida, like what's the outdoors like in Central Florida? Nothing. It's flat. <laughs> it is flat. It's dry. It's uh, drying sometimes. It's super wet other times. It's actually a really cool piece of land, uh, land um, that you really don't think of when you think of Florida. I'm from Michigan, so when I thought of Florida. I thought of beaches, Disney World, Miami, right. stuff like that. Yeah, like, I, it says a lot of cattle farms, sugar cane, orange groves. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah, it's really, it's a beautiful piece of land. It's a beautiful country out there. Huh. Yeah. Oh, that's cool, man. I wanna get out there. Yeah, come on. Get out there with you. Yeah, come on, we'll do it. We'll <laughs> set up a weekend. I think it'd be a really good time. And I think like, just like you said, with the kids enriching them, I think it'd be really cool to have some of us out there with them and just explain it to them. We're just sitting around by the fire with them or even you brought Madden out there. I don't know, like <laughs> stuff like that. Like yeah. just let them experience that kind of stuff. You know, we are NFL players. So many people look up to us. But I think the main thing is we all understand that, you know, we didn't get here alone. And um, we want to give what we have back to everyone else. Everyone is not as fortunate. Uh, so I think we all have that understanding. Mm -hmm. It's outdoors, it's whatever it is. You know, we want to give back and uh, just share what you learn. I think that's the main thing. Of, uh, the problem with this uh, society now is everyone's for themselves, but we all got here because of whoever got us here. It mm -hmm. was a, a true village. Uh, so I think seeing that, seeing where we got different causes, the main thing is you guys want to help. So uh, that's just, for me, that's cool to see. Uh, and you, you also get to learn like what's, what matters to guys. Like I didn't know that about your sister. Yeah. So. Uh, just to hear that, that truly means a lot. So. That's a big thing too, just, you know, wanting to give back. Yeah. Just knowing that even for all of us to get here, we didn't do it by ourselves, no. you know, not at all. So I think once everyone starts to understand that, and it's okay to like ask yeah. for help and, you know, get involved in different stuff, you know, yeah. like we're trying to put out, it'd be uh, really helpful. Yeah, I think, Beg, you made a good point. It's like, you know, growing up, you see, you've seen people, we've seen people around us who were, you know, better football players or better in the classroom or like more creative, you know what I mean? You've seen those people, especially like football is a, the best example as we've like climbed and now at the highest level. But, you know, guys that just weren't able to do it, not because of a lack of talent, but because of a lack of, you know, support system of, you know, the times that we had in adversity in our careers or in our lives. You know, we had somebody, you know, to talk to or to lean on and maybe, you know, those guys didn't, yeah. you know what I mean? Or a source of motivation, like, you know, having your dad in your life, like how it's clear, like how strong of a role model he was, right? Like as you kind of navigated your career and like for me, same thing, you know, I had like two parents who were really influential in my life and, you know, you, you see, around as yet as we've grown up just there's there's people out there that don't have that so you know i think that's as we kind of all share our stories like something that you know kind of a a thread that's gone through through all of our stories uh growing up honestly i remember the little things i remember going to chris chambers camps and uh him just talking about his experiences uh, i'm thankful for those little talks i had so if i can possibly maybe have an impact on someone's life, uh, I definitely, I don't take that for granted. So uh, that's why, that's what honestly keeps me going is you never know who you can affect. So uh, why not do the right thing and have a good impact on someone else's life? So that's kind of my little dream. Yeah. I like the name, that's dope. That you yeah. expand the land that's and fine. now it makes so much sense. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. Appreciate it. Yeah, my, my foundation is, we're, uh, I'm from Portland, Oregon, so that's where a lot of my give back has, has been. And, uh, you know, over time, I've done some things in Houston where I was there and done some things that I'm hoping to do some things here in Miami. I just, I just think it's important, just whatever community, you know, you're in to kind of uplift as, as many people as you possibly can. Um, it's important to me, so uh, 
the the name Big Yard actually comes from uh, from my dad's community that he grew up in uh, in Jamaica, and uh, basically it's like this plot of land that's uh, you know it's a lot of family members, you know cousins, but, you know also just like cousins of cousins, right? And they call it Big Yard. And I remember going when I was young and, uh, you know, the way that they would treat me as family, like just, you know, showing up, they've never met me, right? I'm just some young, you know, the young light-skinned kid that, you know, that, that I'm coming for the first time or second time, the way they take, you know, took me in, fed me and, you know, just treated me as family. And, you know, my, my dad kind of the, he had the same experience. You know, when he was growing up, his parents uh, left when his siblings, when he was like, uh, like eight years old and they went to Toronto to try to raise money to then bring the kids. But the kids were there, him and his siblings were there in Jamaica at the big yard for years, just being taken care of like by the neighborhood, by the big yard. And so like in thinking of a name, like what we were trying to achieve, you know, it was like, well, we want it to be like that where, you know, that's a, that's a true support system. You know, when you talk, you talk about it takes a village, like that's, you know, the true meaning. How do the Miami Dolphins help you guys and make you move? Oh yeah, I can answer that. You know, they they definitely help me a lot, especially with uh, the foundation I'm working with. Uh, be the match actually during training camp. So I told you about, you know, how they try to get people to join the registry. And in order to join the registry, it's just like a, a simple swab of the mouth. They get your DNA, and they run a bunch of tests and see like which kid you would most likely be able to donate to because it's just a long line of kids waiting to get, you know, a match pretty much. Uh, I remember during training camp and a little bit during the summer, this organization completely worked with me fully and just trying to, you know, use uh, the facilities to make videos and make, you know, just informational videos to get the point across what we are doing. And we are actually able to bring some, um, some swab trucks to get people to sign up for the registry during training camp. And we were having open fans come in stuff like that and so we were able to you know get the word out like that and you know the city's just been very welcoming with it too you know it's real uh what's the word it's, it's a loving city but it's very real that's the best way i could describe it passionate passionate yes yeah, mm -hmm. like very passionate you know i remember getting drafted here and you know i meet people and they're like hey that, that thing for your sister's cool like i didn't even know about you know yeah. that type of stuff you know and it's just like just the fact that you know people were able to listen you know, and then still find the courage to make action about it too. Right. Um, especially the Dolphins, you know, yeah. that, was, that was huge. I kind of want uh, to one, just bring awareness to my uh, organization, and my nonprofit. Um, but also like my main goal is to essentially have a program where a kid can come in, uh, let's say elementary school, um, and he or she wants to be whatever, a doctor. Um, so throughout, you know, from elementary to college, my organization follows you through your life. So when you get to high school, uh, we can get you in line with a summer internship, or we can get you in line where you can uh, just shadow a doctor for a day. Um, so, when, you know, further down the line, hopefully years, years, and when you get to college, uh, we can, get you in line where you can apply for different scholarships and you have a list of support of, I wanna be a doctor and I have this doctor in place. I shot him here before, I did an internship here. Um, I know this, whoever at this school. And also you have that uh, support of a child throughout his whole life. Um, not every kid has the mother and the father, uh, but I wanna know, I want a kid to know that you, know, you definitely have support and at Expanded Land, we're gonna support you no matter if you are second grade or you're going to you know, say you're high school. So we definitely have a long way to go to get where we wanna to get to. So I'm excited. I think with mine, we just opened, Sitter Safe Haven, we just opened that up in the last couple of months. Um, I think with the Mike Calls, Mike Cleats, we're looking to bring an awareness to it. Um, a couple of fundraisers we're planning on doing and really just kind of Hopefully, find some kids and groups of kids who can we can figure out who can go out there and show, start doing it with. Um, just we haven't we literally just opened, so 
It's exciting to be able to get a platform like this that the Dolphins and the NFL is giving us to uh, uh, spotlight our foundations and uh, what we're passionate about, I think, which is really great. Congratulations on, on man, starting your foundation. Yes. It's crazy, man. For me, my uh, my my goal, having uh, you know, just got here and uh, to Miami this season, and wanting to you know get back to the community. I have a, a program that I did back in Portland called Big Yard Bookworms, which basically uh, it, we partnered with a with a technology company called Amira Learning, which basically is like this. Uh, it's an AI reading tutor. So basically like it's a software where almost like Alexa for your teaching your student to read. And um, we adopted my old elementary school and basically gave the software to all the, the kids from kindergarten through third grade for free. And so basically it's like, you know, they're using their tablet and they're reading, they're reading stories on their tablet. Amira can basically like stop them and help correct them if they're getting a word wrong or like, you know, this is how you say the sentence. And it's basically like it was, uh, it was really cool, and we did like for ten weeks. We did a check in every Friday and like shouted out the kids who were who were reading a lot and had it. We had like this little Zoom assembly uh, every Friday, and I had celebrity guests. So like it's like me and my brother and you know my sisters, you know uh, some teammates from college. You know people just coming on and shouting out the kids and talking. So um, we hopefully will do that here in uh, in Miami this year and I'll find a you know a school or a couple of good schools to. Uh, to adopt and you know inspire some kids, uh, inspire a love for reading. You know, for me, it's just helped me a lot. You know, I was a I was a Harry Potter kid. You know, like had a note my nose in a book all the time, and you know still do. So it's helped me out a ton in my life. So I want to inspire that that same type of love in, in kids. Yeah, teach me how to be like that. <laughs> you know, football. For, love football. We all love football. We can all say that. That's why we're here. But you know. There's a lot of things other than football that's really real, you know? And, you know, I think it's good to kind of just sit down and take a break and just talk about, you know, the stuff that actually matters to us, you know, how we carry ourselves outside of football, you know, what we see in the day-to-day -day outside of here. But, uh, you know, it's really easy to get wrapped up in completely football, especially mm -hmm. for us, like, mm -hmm. you know, just yeah. what it takes us, just good, I feel like, to hear us as actual human beings not like saying we're not human beings outside of football, but just good to hear, you know, that other side too. You know, right? Right. You get caught up just seeing, hey, you're a football player. Scott's my edge. You're my my linebacker. You're the enemy. <laughs> <Right>. But <laughs> I've seen your videos about like the the uh, be the match, and I was always I always wondered like, hey, what what brought you to that? What led you to be so passionate in that? So that was really cool, just kind of learning and seeing that kind of stuff. Got some good dudes, man. Respect, respect, yeah. respect. I think it's kind of just cool, just to. Uh, it's all about balance. You know, our life is right now. It's the season. It's all football, football, football. But uh, just to step away and see you know, what matters to the guy that you're. Oh yeah. Going to war with is this kind of. Mm -hmm. You have a different respect of. Uh, uh, just a different respect of the guy next to you. Scar, you're in my locker room. You know, you're right next to me in my locker room. So, uh, just to you know, hear that, it, it definitely uh, it strengthens the bond. So, definitely got. I'm definitely grateful to have a chance to sit down and just talk. Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. absolutely.